Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to change the background music here inside of Minecraft 1.16.4. Now, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. I appreciate all that stuff. Take a look at my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And to do this changing the background sound, we'll need to switch out to the desktop. And let's go ahead and do that right now. There we go. Now there are a few things you need in order to do this. We'll be doing this by making a new resource pack. So let's set that up. First off, you need a place to build your pack in. I'm in a new folder here. I just called it background music 1.16.4. You know, just any place, just make a new folder to work in. You then need to have your new music and I have one right here. I got this off of the YouTube audio library and it's an MP3 file. I found an MP3 file works best as a basis for this. We'll be changing this to the .og format but if you start from mp3, it seems to work better. So if you're using a different file format, try changing it to mp3 first, then change to the .og format. We'll need a few more things. One of those is a pack PNG file. This is just the icon that shows in the game when you're setting up your resource packs. That's the only place you ever see this. If you don't use a pack.png, then Minecraft will give you a default one, which is just a dirt block. Not a big deal, but I like having my own, so we'll be using this. It's just a square image and it's a PNG file. Mine is set at 256 by 256. You can make it smaller if you want to, just make sure it's square, like 128 by 128, that also works. It's whatever you want, really, just a square image. Okay, now, we also need to have a new folder in here. Let me just go ahead and set up a new folder right there. This is gonna be the assets folder. We'll be putting in our files into this folder, and I'll show you that file structure right now. And that's right over here in this notepad. This is the list of all the background music. Now you can download this from my website. There's a link for this in the description. Come on to my downloads page and then right here's the one you want. It's called background music 1.16 and it's a text file and that's what we have right here. Okay now the background music is all of this stuff. It's in sections that you can see. There's background for survival, background for creative, for the end, for the nether, if you're in water and also for the opening menu right down here. Now I'll be building in the creative right there. It's just easy for this one video as there's only six files to work with. Notice that there's a whole lot here in survival and then there are six in creative. There's only three in the end, one for the boss, one for credits and one for the end. If you're working for changing your background music inside of survival, you'll need to change all of these songs in here. So it's a whole bunch, as you can see, they all have their own separate names. And these are ending in the .og format, but when you're naming your file, just give it the name part right there. Don't do the .og. When we convert to .og, the sound program puts that on for us. So just use the name part of that. Now in front of that, this is the folder structure that we need. We need to have this folder set up to put our files into. Let's go ahead and make that right now. That's right over here. So let's go inside of assets and I'll make a new folder in here. This one's going to be Minecraft. There we go. Let's go inside of that one. New folder in here. This is Sounds. Notice I'm just copying what's over here. Inside of Sounds, new folder, Music. There we go. Inside of that one, new folder, Game. There it is. Inside of that one, new folder and Creative. Now notice that these are all lowercase. Don't use any capital letters. Inside of here is where you want to have our sound file. Let's go ahead and just get that in place right away. I'll go over here. You can just copy it if you want to and then paste it in there. I'm going to right click and copy. There we go. And let's go inside of our folders, clear inside, inside of the creative and then right click and I'll paste it right there. So I have a copy of it right here inside of that folder and there's our folder structure right there. Okay, let's go back here to our working folder. We're actually done with this. I'll just get this out of the way. And just bring up a drive window like this, a file window, and in the address bar, type in percent app data percent. Just like that, hit the enter key, go into Minecraft, it'll be the top option up there. And then scroll down to versions, and it's right here. Go inside of this, and then find your version of Minecraft in your list. Right now, I'm in 1.16.4, so go inside of this, and you should see two files. If you're only seeing one file, then you haven't played that version yet. Go ahead and play the version once, just open it up, and then close it down. And that's because the jar file is downloaded the first time you play the game. 
Now if you're not seeing the dot jar and dot JSON, we need to see that. Go up to the View tab in your window, go over here where it says Find Them Extensions and check that. You'll then see the dot jar and the dot JSON. Okay, now I'm going to take the dot jar file. I'm just going to right drag it up here and copy. Just make a copy of it right there. Okay, let's just get this out of the way for the moment. We'll come back to that later at the end. Now this is actually just a zip file. You can use a program like WinRAR or 7-Zip. Those can open this directly. If you don't have those, you can open this up just using the built-in zip program inside of Windows. All you have to do is just change that .jar to a zip. Like that. And then choose yes. Okay, so now zip file. I'm going to right click on this and open in a new window. Let this open up. There's a whole bunch of files in here. As you can see, there's the assets folder and then just a ton of files in there. I'm going to put this right over here. And if we scroll down, let's just get this in a bit like that. There we are. If we scroll way down, down near the bottom, come down into the P section, and there it is. There's your pack.mc meta file right there. I'm just going to right drag that over here and copy and there we go and we can close this down. Now you don't have to actually edit this file. Also if you're seeing a different icon on here that doesn't matter. I have mine set to open up in Windows Notepad. Yours may open up in something else. Doesn't matter at this point. You can just leave this alone. We just have to have it in here. As long as you grab this from your current version of Minecraft you're all set to go. If you want to edit this file just open it up. Now I like using Notepad. You can open it up with Notepad which is built in of course. Right click, come down to Open With. You won't see it over here unless it's already set up for you. Click on Choose Default Program and come down to More Options and then in this list you'll find Notepad in the list. I already have mine set up so I don't need to do that. And then just double click on it. Opens up in Notepad. And there's only two things you need to care about in here. First one is the pack format right there. Now 1.16.4 is format 6. It's already set up because I'm using the jar file from that version. So this is just fine. I can leave that alone. Other thing over here is the description. If you want to change the description, you can. That's right here. You don't have to. But if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. Let's just call this one background music. There it is. And save. It'll run with the regular description. This only shows up in the list when you are looking for your resource pack in the resource packs folder. It's not seen any place else. So, okay, so we have that set up. This is the basic structure we need now for our resource pack. We'll be using this, that, and that for the pack. Now, we need to edit our file. Let's just go inside here all the way in like that. And here's our file. Now, this needs to be converted to a .og format. You can do this online, although I've had a lot of problem with online apps. A lot of them don't give me good AUG files. So I like using a downloaded free program called Audacity. Let me bring that up right now. And there we go. There's the Audacity program. Let's just get that out of the way. And you can just drag and drop this file over into Audacity. There we go. Let that load in. And there it is. All we have to do in here is just to convert this to the AUG format. And that's up here under File. Come down to Export and Export as OGG or AUG. Make sure you're in the right folder right here. I already am. That's fine. So you can see there's our working folder right there. Assets, Minecraft, Sounds, Music, Game, and there's that creative folder. I'll leave the name alone. Choose Save and choose OK. Let it finish up. And there we go. All taken care of. We're now done with this Audacity program. And there it is. Now I have this kind of traffic cone icon. That's just because I'm using the VLC media player to place music on my computer. And that's why that's showing. If you're using a different program, you'll have a different icon. Doesn't matter. As long as it's an OGG file, you're fine. Okay, now I have found that some files don't convert well. If you're using a different file format, try changing to MP3 first and then going to AUG. I've also occasionally had a sound file that just will not work. So if you try this and it's just giving you just dead air, you're not hearing any music, it may be that the file is just a bad file. Sometimes that happens. Okay, but that's not very often. Now we need to convert this over or change the name here to match the name of the file in the game. Let me bring that list back up again. There we are. So the name of the file should be Creative One right there. I'm just going to copy that. And let's go over here and I'll rename this one. Right click and paste. And there we go. 
That's our first one. Now I have six of these. Normally you'd want to put a different song on each one. I'll just use the same song for every single one. So I'm just going to right click and copy, right click and paste. And let's name this one two. There we go. And I'll just keep on doing this. Do I have all six of those? And there we go. Just double check, make sure everything looks correct and that all looks fine. And we're all set to go. Now you can delete this if you want to, or just leave it in here. Minecraft is just going to be ignoring that file. So it's up to you. Okay, let's go back to our working folder. Assets is now done. We have our pack MC Meta right here. We have our pack icon right there, the pack PNG. Let's now grab all of those. Just hold the control key down, click on each one to select those three pieces. And I'm going to go up here to share and use zip. Now you can zip this up if you want to using WinRAR or 7-Zip or some other program. Just make sure the file archive format is set to zip. That's very important. It has to be in the zip file format. Okay, click on zip. There we go. Zips it all up. I'm going to change the name here. Call it background music. Just like that. And we're all set to go. Okay, now we need to get this inside of the game. And for that, let's bring back up our other window. I'm already close to the right location, but I'll just use the percent app data percent again. Just so we see everything in here. Okay, Minecraft. And then the folder you want is right here, resource packs. I'll go inside of this one. Here's our resource packs folder. And I'll just take this and just drag it in there like that. There we go. It's now inside of the game and ready to go. Okay, we can now relaunch the game and check this out. So I'll load the game up to the title screen and I'll bring that up in just a second. Okay, here we are at the title screen. Now go into options right there and into resource packs and you should see it over on the left hand side. You may need to scroll down a little bit to find it. There it is right there, background music. There is the icon you see right there. That's our icon that we did. Okay, click on that triangle. There it is. Choose done. Let that load in that resource pack and we'll then go into the game. So choose done again. I'm doing single player. There's my main world right here. We'll load the world in. And there we go. Okay, now I'm in creative. And there it is. There's that new background music inside of creative. It's that easy to do. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.